Anyway, it's been a couple weeks since I released a video, and I wanted to kind of just go on about a few things and saying just a few things about what's happening right now. Uh, mainly, I've, I've recently got myself on World of Warcraft two level 100s, two that I'm working on. One that's going to be my raider. In fact, hang on a second, this webcam is just off center here. It's not, it's not where it needs to be at this particular moment. The main point behind everything that's going on is I've got my one PvP character and my one raid character. Um, going to be raiding on Horde and PvPing on Alliance. Don't judge me. Alliance just, I mean, it's just better to PvP on Alliance. Um, granted, they're they are not the best in BG sometimes, but like you, you can't argue they never lose Altered Valley, but once in a blue moon, uh, there's very few BGs that they that they royally suck at, and it's kind of like Silver Shard Mines that they're like terrible in, but it's not too, too bad. But the main fact of it is, is like my, my warrior's already 630 eye level, he'll be easily geared quickly, depending on how raids go tomorrow. Um, the guild that I'm raiding with, they're pretty, a pretty close group, they're pretty cool, I like them. Um, there, there are some of, uh, some bad eggs, I want to call it, in the sense. But every every guild has a few bad eggs. I'm probably one of those bad eggs. I'm not going to deny it. I'm not going to sit there and, and call other people out without calling myself out on things. Um, when it comes down to raiding, though, it's like we're going to be doing normal content, then progressing into heroic and mythic, maybe mythic. I don't know how they want to do raids and how quickly the guild advances and gets geared to do mythic. Um, but we're going to start normal raiding tomorrow on launch. Pending server stability because it's going to be hectic beyond all belief between battle route or arena season starting or you know this season PvP starting the raids opening up. Uh, luckily LFR is not opening and Mythic's not opening for another week, so it's going to kind of like the, the hardcore raiding guilds out there, the number one raiding guilds that are they're already going to be ready to down all heroic content in less than three days. So by the weekend it should ease up and pug groups should be going through. Um, depending on how much we clear, like, they're only going to be, like, there's only, like, six or seven, six or eight bosses that are going to open up, somewhere between there. I'm not 100% sure on the top of my head right now. I know High Mall's opening. I think it's eight bosses. So, it should be pretty fun. It should be pretty interesting. We're going to, we're going to go in and do what we can. Uh, beyond that, I want to kind of break some things down with what, what needs to happen coming up. So, as a World of Warcraft player, as a semi lead decent World of Warcraft player now. Um, I'm PvPing on my Hunter, who is one of my favorite classes to PvP on. Uh, warriors are really fun, like I do like my, my Fury Warrior, but unfortunately right now I'm not too thrilled with it because it requires you to take Bladestorm. If you don't take Bladestorm, like after you trinket the first CC, you just get CC'd until you're dead. So by taking Bladestorm, you can trinket into Bladestorm immediately and at least put out some damage being done to where you'll survive and give a chance to live through it. And this is, of course, just in Battlegrounds. And Arenas is probably a whole different world. Um, I do know, like, I've done, I went and did some scrimmages with my buddy. Uh, like, he's going to be one of the big highlights in a lot of my videos and a lot of my content when we're doing threes and rated Battlegrounds and things like that. You'll see a lot of that content coming out. You'll see a lot of it coming up. Uh, right now, basically, with League of Legends, I've kind of stopped playing for the most part until season five starts and I probably won't come back until like a month or so into the season to begin because it's like the first the first month month and a half two months it's just like it's oh, it's it's hectic trying to to do your placements and do everything else it's like it, honestly the only thing that I have to do is is re get into gold and then just maintain that as long as I do my placements and get into gold, I'm, I'm happy. I'm just going to play like once every other week or so, put out a video here and there about like what I've done. There's not a whole lot in League that I can really do too much different in. They really, with the seasons changes in the jungle and everything else, there's a whole lot to, to factor in and do. I just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the changes. I'm not a big fan of the way that they rework the jungle, uh, the jungler items mainly. Like... I mean, granted, it gives Smite a better utility. It gives determining what buff you're, or what minion you're going to Smite is going to determine what you're doing. But uh, after testing out Lee Sin in the jungle, which is my main jungler for the most part, like if anybody's watched my, my videos, you know Lee Sin's my main jungler. So it's like I'm kind of being forced back into the support role 
as my main set and it's not easy to do carrying as a support it's really not but there's just not enough there's just not enough for me to really justify playing League of Legends right now with the way the changes are now granted that doesn't really affect a lot of people a lot of people like the changes a lot of people like the way that they it kind of gives new utility to the junglers but I don't know I'll have to see how it plays out. I've only really tested it a little bit with Lee Sin, and he's the main jungler I have because I like to pull off the, the insect moves or the flash dragon rage or the dragon rage flash kicks into my team to help out. But I don't know. It, it's an it's an interesting concept. That's all I got to say about it. Moving forward in things with World of Warcraft, the reason why I chose a hunter to do this this season of PvP on, and pretty much season of any PvP is my hunters because like. Once I get back into the swing of playing a hunter in PvP, I'm able to CC and outdo pretty much anything decently. Now, I don't say I'm not going to say I'm going to be rank one hunter, but I am going to go for rank. I am going to shoot for rank one. Um, in my battle group, it's really hard. A lot of the professionals play there. You, I mean, there's there's two guilds that require you to keep a 2200 rating to stay in the guild. And honestly, I'm I'm not that good at this moment. Like at best, right now, I'm a 1900 rating. It'll, it'll change a little bit depending on what we do in threes and everything. We are going to be running. Hopefully, the comp we're going to be running is going to be Hunter, Shadow Priest, Resto Druid. If we get that, we're going to just wreck through everything, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Going forward, also with raid content and everything, hopefully the guild gets everything on farm quickly so I can, I can devote more time into PvP, and hopefully we clear the content pretty quickly to where it's like it's on farm two nights a week. We're done, so Tuesday, Thursday done for the week, don't have to worry about rating. Um, there, there, it, it is kind of different in the sense because of flex, being able to just start with 10 and add five more people in later when you get it on farm or doing 10 and adding a couple people who show up late. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll see how it plays out. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I do know when I do do PVE on my Hunter, the server that I'm on, does pug everything like they, they pug everything challenge modes pugged already they've already cleared it they've been clearing everything it's just it's just how some servers are uh, my horde server that I'm on right now is gray main my alliance server is Sargeras most of you are familiar with it it is one of the top three US PvP servers I think it's I don't know if, I don't know if Tychondrius still falls in or not but last time I checked it was Dark Spirit Tychondrius and and Sargeras I know it's the top battle group in in NA, and that's one of the biggest things that I really want to do is like I am a competitive player I don't want to be playing against the worst people and getting a high rating for no reason because if I want to go to a low battle group and get a 2500 rating I can do it because 90% of people on low pop servers are garbage sorry you don't like what I tell you about it it's true you want to be the best you go where the best are you don't play that low level crap and say oh I'm 2500 rating in a battle group no one cares about okay that's a little mean but whatever get over it. The main point of it is, is like, move on, keep going, have a great day. I will see you in arenas. I will see you in BGs. And I hope, I hope, I hope I get to go up against Bashir sometime. I hope I get to go up against him because the, the one time I ran into him, and I'm mad that I don't have it recorded, the one time I ran into Bashir, it was in the, the Ashren, like, PvP event, and it was like, I got killing blow on him. It was the best Five seconds of like that entire event because like the alliance are always crushing war war strand or uh, war spear in in my battle group like like after seven o'clock at night if you're horde there ain't no point to even go out there you just get wrecked left and right like they just they chain death grip they I watched them chain death grip the same priest eight times all out to where she's just destroyed I felt bad for her but at the same time what can you do uh, moving forward on it. I will see you in arenas, I will see you in RBGs, I will see you on the ground after my hunter kills you. And if I happen to run into you, Athene, or Swifty, or Bashir, know I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Because you three are the only three I've really paid attention to while I was not at World of Warcraft during Mr. Pandaria, because I'm sorry, I didn't like Mr. Pandaria, I didn't like the content, I didn't like the style, I didn't like the health, but I'm coming for you. Get ready to meet executionists in PvP. With that being said, guys, I'm going to bed, I will see you tomorrow, good night, good fight, GG.